So this is the uh, latest uh, little engine that I've built. And uh, again, this is a scratch build uh, made simply from sort of offcuts of aluminium that I had lying around in my scrap drawer. And uh, the idea was inspired by uh, Mr. Pete, uh, also known as uh, Tubal Kane on uh, YouTube. And uh, well, especially the idea for a very a simple sort of uh, basic engine with a very, very simple eccentric uh, drive there to control the valve. Um, well, to keep it simple, I decided to build it as a single acting uh, cylinder engine. Like I say, with a with a very simple sort of spool valve, and um, well, I started uh, one afternoon, one afternoon in the shed during lockdown. Um, I decided to sort of, uh, I was struggling to uh, to get to myself motivated, so I I built this uh, little wooden version of uh, what I wanted. Um, so I went to the wood pile, which was uh, destined basically for kindling in, the, in my uh, to go in my log burner, and I just started uh, sort of sawing wood up and giving myself uh, a few ideas, sticking a bit of few bits of plywood together until it sort of uh, resembled a shape which I thought was proportional and um, well dimensionally sort of pleasing really. Um, so then yeah, I went through the. Uh, the scrap metal box for suitable offcuts of aluminium etc that could be used to make the engine and um, I had a, a few um, well I've got a couple I had a couple of these which are like mammod sort of style flywheels and uh, I thought it'd be nice to to try and utilize one of those wheels uh, into this uh, into this little simple engine so um, well the cylinder itself was um, Basically, the green section here uh, that was milled from a, a solid piece of aluminium. It started off as a, a square block, obviously sawn from a bigger piece of a block of aluminium. I sort of marked it up and bored it, um, and it was. I sort of built it all square, and I, you know, as it was before. Before I sort of rounded off the edges and made sure that the uh, the engine worked. Built the little columns, etc., etc., and the support bracket there. And tested it all before I, I then took it to the mill, put it on a, an expanding mandrel, and then uh, bas basically sort of milled these, uh, milled the edges round, because uh, obviously you, you can't turn that on the lathe because you've got the big chunk there sticking out. Uh, but yeah, it seemed to work out quite well. Um, like I say, it's got a very simple sort of a spool valve, which uh, which is just a just runs off a very very simple sort of. Um, eccentric there and uh, it's got a little crank in there to to align it and uh, it works very successful actually I'm really quite pleased with it um, now I don't have like a, a, a boiler to run my engines I have run it off uh, this this uh, Mamod um, steam engine that I've got uh, I, I always test my engines using this I've got like a, a little thing that I've um, adapted here, a little block of aluminium that uh, sort of fixes on there and then I've got a little valve and a bit of an output obviously it's really messy, steam's always really messy as I'm sure you know, one day I'd like to uh, build a build a proper steam boiler but um, well at the minute I just haven't really got round to that, it's a, a little bit out of my sort of comfort zone as well I'm not, I'm not that good at silver soldering, I've tried in the past, I mean it's sort of okay but I'm not ready to build a boiler yet um, so I do use my compressed air and I must admit, you know, compressed air is nice and clean. All you've got to do is lubricate it. There's no sort of, uh, nothing gets red hot and burns your fingers, which is uh, the problem I have when I'm working with that. I always end up burning my fingers, etc, etc. Anyway, I feel like I'm waffling, so um, I'll get a bit of air on this and you can you can see it run. Just attach my uh, me pipe there. Get a bit of air on. Um, it's going to have a wooden base eventually. A friend of mine, Simon's going to send me a nice piece of timber that he's got lined up for me. Um, 
Now it, it won't run too slow simply because uh, there's not really enough weight in, in these uh, sort of flywheel type things. I'm not sure what they're made of. They, they feel a bit heavier than aluminium so it, it's, uh, it might have some other sort of additives in there. But the, uh, the lovely thing about that is it's just the sort of transparency really of when the flywheel's running you can you can see straight through the engine and uh, I really do quite like that. I've also fitted a little pulley wheel here uh, which you know you can uh, attach to something to drive it with a with one of these sort of spring belts and um, well it, it, I mean, it's not very powerful obviously it re relies on inertia to be able to return the cylinder but it's uh, it's powerful enough to drive something that's uh, not too not too heavy loaded it wobbles around a bit I see get it sort of stabilized and uh, well as you can see it runs well on compressed air and it's a nice little engine bit oily. <laughs> Oops, the flywheel runs reasonably true. It's not perfect. Uh, originally uh, it was miles off actually, it wobbled like crazy. So I had to re-bore the, uh, the centre hole in there uh, to be able to true that up to the wheel and then I, I sort of skimmed the outside of the wheel. Uh, but there's um, the, the inner sort of uh, rim of the wheel is, is still slightly off. Uh, you know, off concentric. I haven't turned that, but you know, I mean, it's good enough for what it is. It's it's uh, it's quite a nice looking engine. Looks pretty pretty, pretty pretty, if you know what I mean. And um, yeah, it's lovely. Let's do some close-ups. You can uh, you can see how it's sort of uh, made up. shakes around a bit but I'm not sure why that is. I don't know whether the level's not good. It could do with the like I say I'll get the wooden base sorted and that'll probably sort out those uh, those problems there. So I'll just uh, I'll hook it up to the mamod and uh, well just just drive the uh, the flywheel there and uh, well thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. So uh, a little idea I've had uh, to give this engine something to do um, is to build like a little sawmill, like a little miniature sawmill. Um, you know, like the ones you, you see at the steam fairs with a great big blade rotating, cutting cutting big oak logs in half. Well, I've got this, um, this is one of my uh, sort of um, slifting saws that I've been using. And uh, the other week I noticed there was a, there was a hairline crack you probably won't be able to see that at all but there's a hairline sort of crack that which runs across there so obviously this is uh, this is scrap I'm not going to use this again in case it uh, in case it busts open but I thought uh, you know it's certainly got the um, it's certainly got the uh, the probability to be able to to be able to use it you know in a little model model sort of a sawmill obviously it's not going to cut any timber but um, you know it might look pretty nice keep the uh, Obviously, keep your fingers away from it because it's still pretty sharp. Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll see whether that works out in a future project. I'm Aids Wash. Thanks for watching.